Well, this is the full start list. Wayne Pinnock, Henry Frayne, Stefan McCarter, Sri Shranka, Miltardis Tegelu, Canceris there as well from Spain, Marcus Dendi, Tobias Monkler, Jigan Wang, Yuki Hashikota, and we should see two more names on the next page. Here we go, the Cuban athlete Michael Basso and Simon E. Hammer from Sweden. And here we go, these are the men just about to be introduced to the crowd. Henry Frayne. Henry Frayne is from Australia. He's taking the applause the of the crowd. They're slightly in the wrong order there. This is Wayne Pinnock. He kisses their Jamaican flag. Twice, twice a world championship finalist for the people's He'll Republic be going China, first Wang to start Jianian. the proceedings. The national record so holder of India, Wang and China Shishanka. just being introduced. Sharikanda of India, who's gone out to a personal best this year of 8 metres 36. Michael Masso of Cuba, world ranking there of number three, as you can see. And this is Stefan McCarter there on the US, proudly showing that US of A emblem. This is Casiris there of Spain, fourth in Tokyo. Such a shame for him. Marquis Dendi, he's come to entertain us, hasn't he? He intends to put on a show. Yuki Hashikova there of Japan, sixth in Tokyo. Tobias Mokler of Sweden. He won a brilliant World Indoor Championship silver earlier in the year in Belgrade in Serbia. And this is the man with the and furthest jump in the year so far, Simon E. Hammer of Switzerland. And perhaps, saving the best to last, Militardis Tengoglu of Greece. So, Wayne Pinnock, you can hear him shout to the crowd, let's go. He put his hands to his head, going through those last minute rituals. So here we go, the first of 60 jumps in this men's long jump world championship final. And we can see those graphics there on the scoreboard, the world lead and the world record just at the bottom right hand side of our screen, really helpful. We can see there's a green emblem of the flag, so that means it was a good jump. A valid jump, that one will be measured. Board also Always good to get a good, well, I say safe. We can see the gap there. Some 23.8 centimetres that Pinnock gave away at the board. Yeah, that was reflected in his overall jump, 7 metres 33. But it's a safe one. I'm not getting You can just hear a little bit of his feedback between him and his coach. Stephen McCarter. Here we go, he's getting his World Championship final underway. And again, let's look at that graphic. Look close to that board to me. Oh, excellent, he's got the green flag. Let's take another look at this. Oh, that looked a really good job. Very good accuracy. You can see these athletes. They sprint round that runway, a technique very reminiscent of sprinters. Many of them have got good 100 metres personal best, some of them in the 10.2, 10.3 region. Oh, and in fact, there was a massive gap there. Not as big a gap as Pinnock had, but what, some 15, 16 centimetres he was giving away. But 7 metres, 87 nonetheless. You can see if you can nudge a little bit closer to that board. He'll be over the eight meter mark. Sri Frankana from India. He's gone off out all the way to eight meters 36 this year. You can see that personal best and season's best. He did that in April this year in India. 
has also recorded some other really big jumps this year. 8.31 in Greece in late May, 8.23 again in India mid-June. So consistency is the key. Oh, that was a really nice hitch kick there at the end, wasn't it? See his legs shooting out, trying to get those extra centimeters. Look at that, the last three steps, really good accuracy there. He just hangs in the air. So much height, a little bit of forwards rotation. He just moves off to the side, in fact. Well, that's the sort of gap we're looking for. 5.8 centimeters. Talked about the accuracy that he brings to this event. And that consistency, 7 meters 96. Usibo Caceres here of Spain. And again, I'm going to reserve my judgment until I see um, that graphic in the bottom right-hand corner. Whoa, it was a green flag. The a nice and controlled the in stark contrast actually from what we've just seen of Tank Agalu. He drops that leg, doesn't he? He drops that left leg. Oh, and look at that, 0.8 centimeters as well. You could not ask for any greater accuracy than that. How far was it though? That's what we want to know. Seven meters, 91. Frame then. Getting this freight train started. He overcooked it in the first round. Couldn't control that speed. Let's see what you can do in round two. Well, that looked good, and just as I said that, yep, the green flag came up. But Frayne disagrees with me, shaking his head. Well, the good thing is he has got a valid jump in. Doesn't get much height off that board. Really forcing it, using every sinew and energy that he's got. Really interesting athlete. He's won national titles in the long jump and the triple jump, but they came 11 years apart, 2010 and 2021. Tank Ogilu, the Olympic champion. Let's see, he had a foul in his first attempt. What can he do in his second? Well, I said we've not had any amazing jumps. Q Tentogalu. He's got the script. He's remembered he's supposed to be the man at center stage. A lot of people are expecting him to be dubious on this occasion. Oh, look at that, four centimeters. Well, he does come here with a world ranking of number one. At his best, he's gone out to 8 meters 60. Oh, and 8 meters 30. Well, that is going to take quite some beating. If he can get in that top eight, he will get further three jumps. Dendi there. 29 year old from the United States. What has he got? Oh, and if that's good, if that's a valid jump, yes, and it, if, indeed it is. He said, okay, calm down, calm down. Let's get started. Well, he is no stranger of participating in front of a home crowd. He won the World Indoor Championships when it was in Portland, just a couple of hours away from here in 2016. 
and a safe jump. He said, yeah, calm down. If I heard him right, he said, let's just get started. And that's going to be the second best jump of the competition thus far. 8.02. Oh, in fact, third, 8.02. So McCarter followed by Dendy. The Americans are up and running. He competed in the Beijing World Championships in 2015, and I had to do my maths. I had to recheck it. He was just 16 years of age at the time. And at 16 years of age, he was always already jumping in excess of eight meters. Absolutely incredible. Michael Masso, here we go, second round. Oh, and the crowd does a big gasp. Oh, and he likes it. Well, Michael Masso, you've used all of your experience from your World Championship history all the way back some seven years since the first time he competed at World Championships. And he has pulled it out of the bag after that difficult first round. What has he gone out to? Well, he's still a good 13 centimeters behind that board. And eight meters 15, Michael Masso from Cuba goes into second place. E Hammer then. That first round, well, everything went wrong, really, didn't it? Really similar to Montler's first round. And he just hangs in that air, doesn't he? Oh, and a sigh of relief. There he goes, those last three steps. He just checks for that accuracy. Uses all the height that he got off that takeoff board. And a big sigh of relief. You saw the judges just waiting at the side. They were waiting to see how he exits the pit. Oh, really perfect there. Just three and a half centimeters. And he's got to put himself up surely in the top three there with that jump. Indeed he does, eight meters 16. Michael Masso there. Season's best of eight, 15 in the second round. Just one centimeter to shy of that silver medal. Simon E. Hammer holding on to that silver medal so far. has got the second best jump just one centimeter further than e hammer so their scorecards almost identical well it was good on the board He's, uh, pumping his fist well i'm sure that won't be any better that eight meters 15 let's have a look well, he liked it, didn't he? I don't know that I was too absorbed with looking at the board. Let's have a look. Eight oh two. So he's backing up that jump. So if any athlete ties on the same, and there's just one centimetre in it so far for silver and bronze, they go back to your next best. So, Ted Tongalu, the only blip he has on his impressive career so far. This was uh, that huge underperformance when he could only finish 10th last time at the Doha World Championships. 
when the last five editions of the Greek National Championships. Such an impressive career CV. So it's the final round of this women's short of Sarah Mitchell of Canada. If he can win the gold, he'll be the first athlete to win the World Olympic, the World Indoor, and the European Championship titles. So very much going to, into uncharted territory here. Wants to go where no man has gone before, in long jump terms, of course. way he hangs in the air. He really is putting on such a showcase for us all here this evening. Two thumbs up, he likes that one. So he had a foul in the first. Eight meters 30 in the second. Eight meters 29 in the third. Eight meters 24 in the fourth. What has he gone out to in the fifth? He gave us a two thumbs up. Eight meters 32, he extends his lead. And look at that scorecard. He's got the four furthest jumps of the whole of the competition. Well, we did expect him to dominate this. He won that Olympic gold in his very last jump of the competition. How he held his nerve on that occasion. Dendi there. Just hitting himself on the cheek. Trying to tell himself, come on, this is the moment. Home turf, home advantage. I want the American crowd behind me. That's willing down that runway. 8.02. Came in the second round. Several fouls. Well, that was a huge jump. Oh. And he ran out of the pit. So excited. He ran, what, 20, 30 metres down, back down the home straight. He thought that was enough to give him a medal. How cruel sport can be. Let's have another look at it. He shortens that last couple of steps into the board. Oh, that would have been out there. Look at that concentration on his face. Wang there, just one centimetre in excess of what Dendi could do. Again, his scorecard shows lots of fouls. Really found it difficult to get that accuracy here this evening. Eight oh four for fourth position, eight oh three for fifth, eight oh two for sixth. Really congested just below the medals. So Wang, the last opportunity for him to bag himself a World Championship medal. Well, that was a massive, and he's got the green flag. Well, very much like Dendi did. He's running back down the home straight. And you know, he likes it. The crowd likes it. And could Wang of China just got himself up there in a medal position? Oh, and the crowd know before I do. Look at the way he just hangs in the air. He's getting a huge round of applause. He's seen it. What has he done? And he's took the lead, 8 metres 36. Well, we've talked about Tend Agalu. Coming good on his last jump in the Olympic Games. I can hardly believe what we're seeing. One can hardly believe what he's seeing. And I think these are 
tears of celebration. He can't quite believe it. So much drama happening in these final moments of the men's long jump. Michael Basso then. Sorry, this is McCarter. So much going on. I can't keep up. Second McCarter. Well, that is a foul. He lost his glasses on the landing as well. Well, McCarter in fourth position there. In fact, he's going to have been knocked down into fifth position. Curti of that huge jump from Wank. So Stefan McCarter, that injury troubled season. I think he's done pretty fantastic to come fifth in this World Championship final after what he's faced just several months ago. So well done to Stefan McCarter. Thank Thanks us, thanks the crowd. Fifth position for Stefan McCarter. Well, the USA are not going to get on the podium in this 18th edition of the World Athletics Championships in this men's long jump. And at this moment in time, neither is Michael Masso. He needs at least one centimetre to get himself back in those medals. He's been in that medal position from the second round. And now... In the sixth round, he finds himself down in fourth position. He's asking the crowd for their help. He needs this one. Michael Basso, last chance for World Championship glory. Well, it was a green flag, but was it? in excess of 8 meters 16. I don't think it was. I don't think Michael Masso thinks it was. Well, that 8.15 was a season's best. That came in the second round. Look at that leg shoot. Absolutely incredible. Uh, just short of eight meters for Michael Masso. Devastating for him to have that medal snatched from him in the final stages of this competition. Well, Simon E. Hammer, he is guaranteed at least the bronze medal. So he can go into that two tape decathlon championships, knowing he is a long jump bronze medalist. Can he improve on that bronze medal? And by the look of that, he can't. He acknowledges the crowd. It was a green flag. Simon E. Hammer. A world championship bronze medal to add to the silver medal he got in the heptathlon at the World Indoor Championships back in March. Fantastic images we're being treated to here. Well, the Swiss team are happy. What a year this young man is having. Right, crunch time here for Miltardis Tentaglu. Well, he's been dominating this competition, hasn't he? He had a foul in the first, followed by 8.30, 8.29, 8.24, 8.32. But he has been overhauled in the final round by Wang of China. He can have as many consistent jumps as he can, but it comes down to the best jump on the day. Here he goes. What can he produce in the last round? Well, it's another good jump. But he hangs his head. He knows that is not going to be enough. Absolutely.
absolutely devastated for Ted Toglu. He's just been so dominant for the past couple of seasons. He snatched that Olympic title away from Echevarra, Cuba, the last jump in Tokyo last year. And he's just been dealt the save by Wang. Oh, and another 8 meters 20. Well, he's put together five of the top six jumps in this competition. But Wang just needed the one. Wiping away the tears there. And this is a new format. You can see that uh, the top three are already given their medals. This is called an instant medal moment, which is really nice. The athletes get awarded with their medals straight away. They get to wear them, see their coaches, thank the crowd, do a victory lap if they wish. They wear them to the media, then they hand them back. They get engraved. And then they're awarded the, I think the men's long jump medal ceremony is tomorrow evening. So they get 24 hours before they have that uh, medal ceremony. Just see the real emotion there from Wang. Tentoglu. Well, he has such high standards, doesn't he? I think he'll go home pretty devastated not to win this world championship title. It is, of course, the first time he has been on the podium at World Outdoor Championships. And hey, being the second best jumper in the world on the day when it matters. I'm sure um, after his career, maybe even in a couple of days, a couple of hours, a couple of weeks, a couple of months time, I'm sure he'll look back and actually think, you know what, this is a medal to celebrate. Well, that competition really came alive, didn't it, in the second round when Tagoglu came out with that big jump, that 8 meters 30. But Wang it was. Look at that, season's best. What a time to do it. Wang taking the title, 8 meters 36. Tentoglu of Greece, 8 meters 32. Simon Ehammer taking the bronze. 8 meters 16, Michael Masso, 8 meters 15, fourth position, Stefan Makata, Dendi, fifth and sixth, and Shikanka and Kakuris, they also got three more jumps, getting eight jumps in this competition. Montler, he'll be really disappointed. Montler and Frain there in 11th and 12th positions.